Caribbean Airlines is pleased to welcome its newest addition to the fleet. This wide-bodied Boeing 767 aircraft joins an already well-established fleet of 737s, ATRs and Dash 8 aircraft. With 30 business class seats and 191 economy seats, the Boeing 767 is specially designed to provide added comfort to passengers, especially on those lengthy transcontinental flights. Chairman of Caribbean Airlines, Rabindra Munan, was on hand at the event and spoke about the significance of the acquisition. Today is a most exciting day of Caribbean Airlines um, and for the airline industry in Trinidad and by extension the region for us to receive our first 767. This is really a more luxurious airplane compared to what we had before. It carries about 221 passengers. This aircraft here will be fully staffed by the local people, pilots and flight attendants. You will really feel the warmth of the islands when you come on Caribbean Airlines the next time you fly with this particular aircraft. With the aircraft being strategically positioned to service the London and other international routes, Minister the Honourable Vassan Barath reiterated the importance of Caribbean Airlines to the region. Caribbean Airlines is a, is a strategic asset, um, as you said, not just to Trinidad and Tobago, but for the rest of the Caribbean, simply because tourism still forms a major part of the economies of many of our Caribbean neighbours. And a lot of our Caribbean neighbours trade with Trinidad and Tobago, not necessarily in tourism, but with goods and services. So the more tourists we can bring to our islands, the more goods and services we can sell to our neighbours uh, for our tourism sector. So um, tourism is a, plays a very important part and Caribbean Islands of course is the most strategic asset in the Caribbean simply because we are, we are competing with an asset that is comparable to any, else, any others in the world. It's probably the only asset we have in the Caribbean that competes on a global basis. So it's very, very important. This aircraft brings with it the promise of greater economic stimulation throughout its regional and international destinations. It also provides a guaranteed air bridge between North America, Europe and the Caribbean. With this wide body aircraft, we are able to utilize it across different routes um, within our network. Um, for example, on the London service. Um, New York as well as Toronto. It's important to, to position ourselves for the amount of competition that we see um, presently and um, also uh, in the near future on certain routes and, and that is why it's important to have a long haul aircraft so in order to fly from point to point non-stop on, on some of those critical routes. With tourism being such a major revenue earner, there is no doubt that with the arrival of this new aircraft, this sector will definitely experience a boost. Tourism all over the world is, a, is typically a mainstay of any economy, and the Caribbean is no different. We had 23 million people come to the Caribbean in 2011. So by putting extra work, by creating this additional airlift, um, we hope to be able to see uh, tourism uh, forming a much greater part of the, um, of, of the contribution to the GDP without a doubt. Caribbean Airlines continues to embody and represent the entire Caribbean region. With this acquisition of this aircraft that we've taken on, it means that we get to put our personal style and our island warmth on the flights. We live our brand. Our brand is island warmth. You know, that one Caribbean experience that lets you know you're in the Caribbean the minute you step on board, no matter what your destination is. Stay with the people you know, Caribbean Airlines.